हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्किन लास्ट क्लास वन मेथड आई हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्किस फ्रॉम अल्काइंस नाउ आई विल कंटिन्यू प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्किस फ्रॉम अल्काइल हेलाइड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्किन फ्रॉम अल्काइल हेलाइड अल्काइल हेलाइड दैट इज ऑल्सो इन इट इज जस्ट आर एक्स आर एक्स वी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ए आर एक्स कैपिटल आर एंड एक्स एक्स मीन्स यू नो फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमिन आयोडीन अल्काइल हेलाइड मीन्स आर एक्स मीन्स अल्काइल हेलाइड आर मीन्स अल्काइल ग्रुप एक्स मीन्स हेलाइड ग्रुप अल्काइल हेलाइड ऑन हीटिंग विथ अल्कोहलिक पोटास अल्कोहलिक पोटास मीन्स पोटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड डिजॉल्व इन अल्कोहल एंड देन आई कैन दिस और दिस ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ अल्काइल हेलाइड ऑन ट्रीटमेंट बेस विथ ऑन ट्रीट ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ पोटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड डिजॉल्व इन अल्कोहल अल्काइल हेलाइड दैट इज द आर एक्स ऑन ऑन हीटिंग विथ अल्कोहलिक पोटास अल्कोहलिक पोटास मीन्स पोटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड डिजॉल्व इन अल्कोहल अल्कोहल एलिमिनेट वन मोलकूल ऑफ हाइलोजन एसिड हाइलोजन एसिड हाइलोजन एसिड मीन्स मे बी एच सी एल एच वी आर एच आई लाइक दिस टू फॉर्म अल्किस मीन्स इट एलिमिनेट्स वन मोलकूल ऑफ हाइलोजन एसिड टू फॉर्म अल्किन दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज डी हाइड्रो हाइलोजनेशन डी हाइड्रो हाइलोजनेशन दैट इज द रिमूवल ऑफ हाइलोजन एसिड दिस इज ए एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बीटा एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बीटा एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन सिंस हाइड्रोजन आइटम इज एलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम द बीटा कार्बन आइटम कार्बन आइटम नेक्स्ट टू द कार्बन आइटम नेक्स्ट टू द कार्बन टू विच हाइलोजन इज अटैच दैट इज कॉल्ड बीटा बीटा कार्बन बीटा कार्बन मीन्स कार्बन आइटम नेक्स्ट टू द कार्बन टू विच हाइलोजन इज अटैच दैट इज कॉल्ड बीटा कार्बन देन डीहाइड्रोजनेशन टेक्स प्लेस देन डीहाइड्रोजनेशन मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ हाइलोजन एसिड and this is the example of beta elimination reaction since hydrogen atom is eliminated from beta carbon atom beta carbon atom meaning of <coughs> beta ka <coughs> beta carbon atom i have told you and uh, example i am telling you that uh, just to consider uh, इथेन दिस आर आर एक्स नॉट इथेन इथाइल 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 यू कैन से कंसिडर इथाइल क्लोराइड इथाइल क्लोराइड यू कैन कंसिडर मीन्स सी एस थ्री सी एस टू सी एल सी टू एच फाइव सी एल इथाइल क्लोराइड इज सी एस थ्री सी एस टू सी एल और ऑल्सो यू कैन टेल इथाइल क्लोराइड सी टू एच फाइव सी एल देन Here CH3, CH2, CH3, CH2, and बी सी एच टू सी एच थ्री सी एच टू एंड विथ दिस सी एच टू एक्स इज अटैच एक्स मे बी क्लोराइड ब्रोमाइड आयोडाइड देन हेयर एक्स इज अटैच विद द फर्स्ट कार्बन फर्स्ट कार्बन टू कार्बन इज देयर देन फर्स्ट कार्बन एक्स इज अटैच इथाइल क्लोराइड सी टू एच फाइव सी एल और यू कैन टेल सी एच थ्री सी एस थ्री सी एच टू सी एल देन फर्स्ट कार्बन फर्स्ट कार्बन 
to first carbon x is attached x means maybe allied maybe chloride bromide iodide anything sir then that carbon first carbon here from which x is attached that is called alpha alpha carbon and after the alpha carbon now next carbon that is called beta here ch3 ch2 x is there then ch3 that carbon where c is there c is there that is a beta carbon why because x is attached with the alpha carbon first carbon first carbon is alpha second carbon is beta then in the presence of koh what will happen that h and x h and x that will that will form that will after heating that will hx will form h and x will will that bond c and h bond will break and c and x bond bond will break c and h bond will break and c and x bond will break then h and x both will form hx means maybe a cl maybe hbr maybe hi and uh, because uh, two bond broken c and h that bond then one electron will be taken by hydrogen one electron will be taken by carbon beta carbon same way x c and x bond broken then one electron will be taken by x other electron will be taken by carbon then now two carbon is two electron is remaining on each carbon one one electron they can form now one bond means single bond now it became double bond and h and x it will form hx it will go out as hx then condition is there alcoholic potassium hydroxide only in the presence of alcoholic potassium hydroxide when it is heated then now ethyl chloride or it is c2h5x ethyl halide convert to convert to ethylene double bond okay this method i told you nature of halogen atom and the alkyl atom determine rate of the reaction nature of halogen atom and the alkyl group and the alkyl group determine rate of reaction whether rate of reaction will be fast or slow that depend upon the halogen which halogen is there chlorine is there chlorine is there bromine is there iodine is there what is there generally chlorine bromine iodine will be there and what type of alkyl group is there in both group rate of reaction depends it observe that for halogen the rate of uh, the rate of reaction i am talking taking telling you the rate is uh, in case of iodine if in comparison to iodine bromine and chlorine if all three are there then rate is in case of iodine is greater than bromine and bromine is greater than chlorine in comparison to this three alkyl will react faster than iodine and iodine faster than faster so you can tell with iodine and then bromine and then chlorine priority is for iodine rate of reaction will be more fast you can say with iodine first priority second priority bromine third is chlorine while for alkyl alkyl group for alkyl group it is tertiary if it is tertiary then its rate of reaction will be highest after that secondary and then primary tertiary tertiary that is the that is the fastest after that after that secondary and then primary then both i told you that i told you that a uh, rate depends upon the nature of halogen atom and the alkyl group then in case of uh, halogen iodine will react very fast after that bromine and then chlorine and alkyl tertiary is 
tertiary is fastest then secondary and then tertiary uh, then primary now i am going to discuss third method third method of preparation that is from visnal dihalides visnal dihalides dihalides in which two halogen atoms are attached in a attached in two adjacent carbon atoms are known as known as visnal dihalide visnal dihalide what is the visnal dihalide then dihalides in which two halogen atoms are attached to the two adjacent carbon atoms adjacent carbon atoms continuously two adjacent carbon atoms are known as known as visnal dihalides visnal dihalides on treatment with on treatment with zinc metal in the presence of zn lose a molecule of zn x2 zn x2 mere x means here halide ion okay halide it may be chloride may be bromide may be iodide in the presence of zn metal that it will lose it will lose halide ion in the form of zn x2 and because two two add from the two adjacent carbon halide atoms are going then what will happen then bond two bond will break then just like what i discussed above when two bond will break then each carbon will have one one electron and bromine bromine as per suppose suppose it was it, it was ch2br again ch2br plus zn plus zn then that uh, carbon and bromine bond will break for both carbon then new bond will form because each carbon will have one one electron each carbon will have one one electron then uh, one new bond will form means single bond will become double bond ch2 ch2 and zn plus 2 br to bromide they will react and it will form zn br2 zinc dibromide or zinc bromide Okay, Zn Br two, hence you will get you will get CH two double bond CH two means you got now ethene ethene like that way other example same basis there also two bond will break in other example only chain is long only chain is long means now it is a CH two CH Br again CH two Br. CS two CH Br and it is attached with CS two Br means three carbons are there. First is the CS three, second is the CH Br. With means with second carbon H is also there, bromine is also attached, and third valence is attached with another carbon. In that C two hydrogen is there and one bromine is there. Ethyl with ethyl bromide C S two B R is attached. Think like that. Total three carbon. Bromide propyl bromide you can tell di bromide C S three C H B R and again C S two B R. Then same thing will happen. Adjacent carbon bromine is there. Then both bond will break. C H B R C H B R both bond will break. And both carbon will get one one electron, and again single bond will become double bond. And this bromine, this two bromine having one one electron, they will join with Zn, Zn, and it will form Zn Br two. Actually, this bond bond breaking and forming, you can understand better by when bond breaks, then you think that now. Each will take one one electron. Then you will understand very fast. Charge wise also you can understand. Radical wise also you can understand. But radical wise it is easy to understand. 
बिकॉज ऑल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स दे विल मेक कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड देन दे विल टेक वन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन बट इफ एनी इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिव एलिमेंट और इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट इज देयर देन देयर चार्ज विल डेवलप देयर चार्ज विल डेवलप हेयर एक्चुअली जेडन इज देयर जेडन द जेडन इज इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट प्लस प्लस जेडन प्लस प्लस टू प्लस देन हेयर दे विल कम ब्रोमाइड विल कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रोमी ब्रोमाइड आयन ब्रोमाइड आयन करेक्ट देन जैट दैट वे ऑल्सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज बोथ ब्रोमीन विल कम विथ वन वन इलेक्ट्रो वन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन बी आर माइनस बी आर माइनस लाइक दैट वे यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन बोथ वे बट विच इन इन विच वे यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेटर यू फॉलो दैट थिंग्स देर विल बी नो अफेक्ट आर थिंग विल बी द सेम बिकॉज दिस इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव एलिमेंट they will take the electron they will just like here you can see from the bond when we break then then its electron its electron that will take what it has given that electron it will take okay that's why it will be called uh, bromide negative br negative then any way you can understand and on carbon on carbon what will happen one one electron will remain that's why they will make they will make uh, this things uh, bond new bond then anyway you can understand there will be no effect okay when you will write mechanism that time you have to be uh, follow the this electronegative atom or electropositive atom otherwise for understanding purpose you think like that one one electron both have taken i mean they will take the electron the negative charge will come very clear cut correct then uh, like that way you can understand then here c as second example i am telling you ch3 ch br and again it is attached with ch2 br then both this cbr cbr bond will break then both carbon will take one will get one one electron bromine will get one one electron then zn plus this 2 br they will form zn br zn br2 and uh, carbon carbon single bond now it will become carbon carbon double bond and ch3 just uh, uh, just like a ch2 that one h gone ch3 ch3 came methyl group just uh, in the place of h ch3 is attached hence it will be carried on hence the product will be ch3 ch double bond ch2 ch3 ch double bond ch2 okay then uh, this i have told you uh, second uh, third method that is the preparation of uh, alkene from bisnal dihalide meaning of bisnal you understood okay halide ion adjacent carbon halide ion like uh, i i br br uh, cl cl continuously adjacent carbon if two two atoms uh, two Uh, this uh, halide atoms are there that is called bisnal dihalide dihalides okay bisnal dihalides now fourth fourth reaction i am telling you fourth preparation that is from alcohols from alcohols by acidic dehyd dehydration acidic dehydration then name itself is clear dehydration hydration means water molecules then dehydration means water is going outside h2o h and oh if in the bond if in alcohol obviously alcohol you are talking about then alcohol oh will be there and nearby carbon h will be there nearby on carbon h will be there then this oh and h both will form water bond will break oh bond oh attached will be with carbon h will be also attached with the carbon then both bond will break and h and oh they will make h2o it will go out water as a water and both bond broken then both carbon will get one one electron then they will make extra electron means single bond will come double bond this is the 
case actually then now you understand okay uh, <clears throat> this uh, i told you now uh, preparation alcohol by acidic acidic dehydration during uh, this uh, we have already discussed uh, this things uh, uh, nomenclature and other things now it will be very easy to understand alcohols uh, alcohols are the hydroxy derivative of alkene you have seen also during uh, this things uh, nomenclature of uh, different homologous series i have told you in that you have seen uh, that uh, alcohol oh group alcohols are the hydroxy derivative of uh, alkanes with alkane oh group is attached then it become alcohol you know all the thing already we have discussed then in alkane when oh group is there then it will form alcohol one h will go and its place uh, oh will come then now that is called alcohol they are represented by roh r means alkyl group capital r and oh oh means you know hydroxyl group then roh means ethyl alcohol not ethyl alkyl alcohol r represent alkyl alkyl may be methyl also ethyl also propyl also organic chemistry is very easy to uh, reactions are very easy only chain will be long but that uh, in the place of h methyl group may come one carbon methyl group two carbon ethyl ethyl three carbon propyl four carbon butyl then it looks a big long chain but it is very easy to understand then roh that is the that represent alcohol alkyl alcohol alcohols on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid alcohol alcohols on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid form alkenes with elimination of one water molecule now question arises oh, here very easily you can ask why concentrated h2so4 why concentrated h2so4 then now this is a separate question it is asked you know that concentrated h2so4 is what dehydrating agent dehydrating agent it absorbs the water molecule okay that's why concentrated h2so4 is used it will absorb the water molecules wherever any scope will be there for water it will absorb that's why concentrated h2so4 is used it is dehydrating agent then now uh, in alcohol h is also there oh is also there the nearby h and oh they will form water and uh, this uh, this uh, actually due to this acid concentrated sulfuric acid that bond the both bond will break and one a new bond will be formed with the two carbons both will have one one carbon okay then here everywhere this type of when a bond a bond breaks and a new bond forms and process will be everywhere almost same then now again i am telling you details since a water molecule is eliminated from the alcohol molecules in the presence of an acid this reaction is known as acidic dehydra dehydration of alcohol because water molecule is going outside in presence of h2so4 concentrated h2so4 acid that's why it is called acidic dehydration of alcohols this reaction is also the example of a beta elimination reaction beta elimination alpha beta just like a b you are adding a beta alpha particle beta particle like that beta beta elimination why it is called why it is called beta elimination reaction since just like uh, i told you chlorine chlorine bromine iodine where it is attached after that next next is called beta position beta position like that way here 
OH is attached, OH also is negative charge, no? OH, ne, OH minus, just like Cl minus, Br minus, I minus. Then this is also OH minus. Then next to OH ion, ion. next to where this OH ion is attached, next carbon is called beta, beta carbon. Okay. Then this, uh, uh, this, this, is, this reaction is also called beta elimination reaction. Since OH group, OH group uh, takes out one hydrogen, one hydrogen atom from the beta carbon atom. Beta carbon means where OH, OH is attached. OH attached with the suppose it is first carbon, then second carbon is beta. Then OH will remove remove H from the second carbon. That is the beta. Where OH is that, that is alpha, next is the beta, then from that beta hydrogen will be removed by OH in the form, uh, in the form of water molecule. That's why it is called beta elimination reaction. I think now it is clear, you will not get confused. Generally, a student gets, gets confusion alpha and beta. Okay, alpha elimination or beta elimination. It is beta elimination. And now reaction is very easy to understand. Ethyl alcohol is there, CS3, CH2OH, means C2H5OH. C2H5OH, you can write as a CH3, CH2OH. Okay. And all, whenever you're writing the reaction, then in details you write a structure form C3, CH3, then you write CH, CH, CH. Again, CH, CH, CH3, CH2, then OH, OH, then it will be easy to write the reaction because bond, bond you will understand, which bond will break or should break, you will understand. Then in this way you write the ethyl alcohol structure, CH, 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 CH3, CH, again CH2, H and H and then OH. Then now you can understand then a neighboring OH and H, a neighboring H and OH, alpha on alpha particle OH is there, beta particle H is there, both will react and it will form water H2O and carbon carbon, one one electron is there, that will make new bond, means double bond, single bond become double bond and this is called, now you got ethene, carbon carbon, double bond, CH2, CH2, you got the ethene. Okay. Now I am going to discuss properties, properties, physical properties of physical properties of ethene. Physical properties of ethene. Here uh, this uh, physical properties of ethene. Here is just you can understand. I can say. Very many things easily you can understand in physical properties because similarities with there, some similarities with their alkane and alkene. Okay, alkene, al, uh, alkane, alkane, I am talking about now. We are studying alkene. Okay, then alkene as a class, as a class, you can say resemble alkanes. Alkene as a class resembles alkanes in physical properties. Means it matches, it is somewhat similar with alkanes in a single bond. Except in types of isomerism and differences in polar nature. Okay, some similarities also there, differences also there. Then alkenes as a class resembles alkanes in physical properties except in types of isomerism and difference in polar nature. The first three member are gases. Alkenes means double bond I am talking about. Okay. Alkene. Always uh, you understand alkene only. Double bond you are studying, not single bond. Okay. Because sometimes similarity is there from by the mouth may come alkene, but it is a Alkene. Then uh, here, alkene first three members are gases. 
द नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन आर रिमेंबर द नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन आर लिक्विड एंड द हायर वंस आर सॉलिड करेक्ट फर्स्ट थ्री आर गैसेज कार्बन वन कार्बन टू कार्बन थ्री एंड आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन मीन्स एलेवन मोर ओके अप टू फोर्टीन कार्बन फोर्टीन फ्रॉम फोर टू फोर्टीन दैट इज द लिक्विड्स एंड फोर्टीन ऑन वार्ड दैट इज द हायर वन आर सॉलिड्स इथिन इज ए कलरलेस गैस विथ फेंट स्वीट स्मेल लिटिल स्वीट स्मेल विल बी देयर फेंट मीन्स वेरी लिटिल इथिन इज ए कलरलेस गैस विथ ए फेंट स्वीट स्मेल ऑल अदर एल्किस आर कलरलेस एंड ओडरलेस अदर गैसेज और अदर मीन्स कंपाउंड्स हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मीन्स फर्स्ट वी आर टोल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग इट विल बी यू कैन से लिटिल स्वीट लिटिल स्वीट स्मेल बट अदर्स ऑल अदर एल्किस आर कलरलेस नो कलर एंड ओडरलेस नो ओडर ओके नो स्मेल and also insoluble in water it is not soluble in water <coughs> insoluble in water it is insoluble because organic compounds are soluble only in organic organic or organic, organic like dissolved like okay remember then alkenes are insoluble in water but fairly soluble in non from non polar solvents नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट्स ओके नॉन पोलर मीन्स इनऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स आर कॉल्ड वेर चार्ज इज देयर दे आर नॉन पोलर ए नॉट दिस ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स आर नॉन पोलर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स आर नॉन पोलर नो चार्ज बट इनऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक आर कॉल्ड पोलर चार्ज पोलर मीन्स चार्ज नॉन पोलर मीन्स नो चार्ज ओके देन हेयर they show a regular increase in boiling points with increase in size okay because uh, molecular weight mass will increase then boiling boiling point will increase boiling point uh, boiling point will increase with increase in size every methylene group you know every ch2 group added increases boiling point by 20 to 30 kelvin if you know that in homologous region 11 ch2 will increase and it will come long every time one ch2 group will be ch2 will be more increase every time ch2 okay you have seen that uh, that uh, uh, this thing say uh, ethylene ethylene to carbon is there ch2 will increase then three again one Four and hydrogen will increase by two. Then, this for every increase of CH two, boiling point will increase by roughly twenty to thirty Kelvin. Like alkanes, alkanes also it happens. Like alkanes, straight chain alkanes have higher boiling point than isomeric branch chain compounds. You have seen in alkane also here alkene also. alkene also alkene also same things alkenes have higher boiling point alkenes have higher boiling point than isomeric branched chain compounds because here also isomeric isomers will be there then branched will have less and a straight will have a straight compound will have more a straight chain even alkene straight chain is more boiling point and branch is less reasoning already i have told you okay then now i am coming to uh, this chemical properties chemical properties of alkene alkenes are the rich source of loosely held pi electrons you know that uh, double bond is there one bond is pi bond and that pi bond is very weak 
easily it can uh, bond can break and can lose the electron that's why due to this pi bond uh, this alkenes are very very reactive okay this question is asked okay Al asked alkenes are the rich source of loosely held pi electrons pi electrons due to which they show addition reaction in which the electrophile add on the carbon carbon double bond to form the addition products some reagents also also add by free radical mechanism i told you that bond making and breaking is done by two ways important way that is iron wise also radical wise also but understanding purpose always you try to understand why radical quickly you will understand the reaction but whenever mechanism will come then what is the correct things you have to write means uh, if it is going through radical then you write then uh, you write by radical only if it is going by ions then you can write by ions ions means for that is only when the electronegative atom or electro positive atom is attached then only the case of negative positive charge will develop that no case will come electronegative will take the electronegative will take the electron that's why it will called negative and the carbon which will lose the electron that will be positive but here again you tell uh, again you just remember then in carbon if one carbon is getting positive then other will be negative this is also there that's why positive negative they will make the carbon carbon bond okay if it is going on a charge basis bond is breaking according to the charge then if one carbon is losing losing the electron then they will get the positive charge but you will see situation will be like that that other nearest carbon they will have they will have opposite charge means positive carbocation carbonation both will be close both will be close that's why bond will be formed positive negative charge the negative charge means they have one pair electron that's why they will get negative charge that is called carbonation next carbon will have positive charge no carbon then this will give a charge is there then positive negative simply you can tell it they will make a bond but electron on if you see the electron from where electrons are coming then minus will be there minus means they have extra electron carbon have extra electron that's why they getting y minus that electron will be given to, will be given to the cation positive charge positive charge carbon carbocation carbocation carbonation carbon having negative charge is carbonation carbon having positive charge it's carbocation then this carb anion will give the electron to the carbocation then bond will form electron will give this carbonation and charge by you will think the simply positive negative charge they will make a bond both way i told you and radical wise that is very easy to understand but again one more thing here radical wise reaction will take place only in the presence of sunlight sunlight or or in electrolytic reaction electrolytic reaction there are also radical way okay El radical way reaction will take place or in the presence of uv light now i am just uh, going ahead that uh, oxidation and uh, ozonolysis here two reactions are very very important here chemical reaction uh, oxidation and ozonolysis reactions are also quite prominent it takes plus more in alkene okay then now i am telling about the addition of dihydrogen addition of dihydrogen it is very easy means uh, addition of uh, h2 dihydrogen means h2 hydrogen gas then it is, that you know that uh, two bond is there then pi bond will break both h will 
attach their 1 1H. Bond will break and both will get 1 1 electron and hydrogen have 1 1 electron. Hence, uh, double bond will become single bond and 1 1 H both carbon it will be attached. That is called hydrogenation. Then this is very easy. You can write uh, very easily CH2 CH2 CS2 carbon carbon single bond is there. Uh, ethylene carbon carbon double bond and CS2 CS2 one bond will break plus H2 ethylene uh, ethylene CS2 CS2 plus H2 Easily you can, it will one bond will break, double bond will come single bond, and it will come CS three CS three ethane, ethylene will may, will form eth ethane single bond. Then one molecule of dihydrogen gas in the presence of finely divided nickel that is the condition finely divided nickel, palladium nickel and palladium or platinum, and to form it will react. To form alkanes means ethane it will form only a condition you have to remember catalyst organic reaction generally requires a catalyst then here uh, nickel may be as a finely finely di new divided nickel means powdered form finely divided nickel or palladium or platinum then this reaction will take place now Another chemical reaction, second I am talking about addition of halogen, addition of halogen. Then now you can see halogen is going to be added. Then halogen is electronegative, halogen is electronegative. They will attract the electron, correct or not? Then what will happen? If from the one carbon they will take the electron, the other carbon, it will affect to the other carbon. Correct? Then easily it will create the charge. Halogen will create the charge. Correct? If it will take the electron, then that carbon will become positive. Then uh, other will become, it will affect to the other. Other will get opposite charge. Okay? It will create uh, charge that I want to tell you. Halogen creates the charge when it will come to the, when it will come to the I can say double bond, double bond quickly it will break and when bond will break then what will happen? That electrons will go, then from where electron is going, going that carbon will become positive and other carbon will be negative, automatically situation will be like that. Then now I am telling you addition of halogen, halogens like bromine or chlorine add up to al alkene to form bis vicinal dihalide vicinal dihalide however iodine does not show addition reaction this you remember question is asked iodine iodine does not show addition reaction under under ordinary condition under normal condition iodine will not react Okay, the, uh, the reddish orange color of bromine solution, actually bromine has a reddish brown color, liquid, don't forget, the reddish orange, reddish orange color of bromine solution in carbon tetrachloride is, is a discharged when bromine adds up to an unsaturation, uh, unsaturation site here you have to understand bromine actually bromine color is uh, reddish brown and uh, it dissolves in carbon tetrachloride so its bromine solution will be in ccl4 correct then that time its color will be orange red orange red when it is present in carbon tetrachloride is a solvent ccl4 is a liquid bromine is also liquid but just for uh, making solution, it is dissolved in carbon tetrachloride. Then that time its color will be orange, orange reddish. But when ethylene, when when it will be, it will be near with the double bond, like ethylene, ethylene. Then what will happen? 
this uh, bromine from the carbon tetrachloride solution it will attach to the uh, this ethylene it will go it will attach to the ethylene where double bond is there their bond will break one bond will break by pi bond and uh, this bromine will attach there because bromine is going from this solution from the carbon tetrachloride solution bromine bromine went to the ethylene that's why that uh, solution that solution of carbon tetrachloride which was reddish brown now it will be color will discharge it will be colorless it will be colorless because bromine was there that bromine went to the ethylene now no bromine is there then if this color discharges color of the carbon tetrachloride chloride present in uh, bromine present in carbon tetrachloride that solution become colorless then you can tell oh from this bromine has gone then where it gone there only ethylene was there that's why it means uh, that double bond was there that's why it went and attached that uh, double bond means unsaturation double or triple bond is called unsaturation single bond is saturated that's why this is the test for test for unsaturation this is the test for unsaturation question is asked i told with explanation then this i told is add up to the this bromine adds up to the unsaturation site this reaction is used as a test for unsaturation addition of halogen halogen to alkene alkene addition of halogen to alkene is an example of electrophilic addition reaction this is example of electrophilic addition reaction electrophilic means what e plus someone wants electron e plus e means electrophile then this reaction is example of electrophile okay now this bromine has actually here electrophile has taken the electron then now i have told you that this is example of electrophilic addition reaction involving cyclic halonium hal, uh, ion okay involving a cyclic halonium ion formation okay uh, now just example i am telling you ethene already told you ethene ch2 ch2 double bond ch2 plus br br that bond will break now this bromine is present in carbon tetrachloride then this br br this bond will break and what will happen because br br bond is breaking then one br when bond will break br br then uh, one bromine will take electron then other bromine will be will have less electron br plus other will have a br minus then this happen due to the ccl4 carbon tetrachloride okay then now you know that now it is going to the ca double bond then uh, bond will break negative will who have negative that will go to the that carbon which have no electron which have which have lost electron there it will attach and uh, which were having uh, which were uh, having no no br means bromine eh? bromine br plus is acting as a e plus e plus uh, this electrophile e plus it will create charge it will take the electron it will take the electron it will have then what you have taken electron then that carbon will be get positive charge and br we have taken electron hence bond will form and that uh, next will be opposite charge next carbon will have opposite charge then this br minus will go and give that charge because there is no electron then now two br adjacent carbon two br will attached and it is called one to dibromo ethene one to dibromo ethene was one br is br plus other is br minus then obviously pi bond easily they can break then 
Br plus will attack there and get, will get the electron, and other carbon become positive charge. That's why Br minus will go there and it will make the bond. And compound form will be one to dibromoethane. Now another example, same concept, only chain is long, long. Only one in the place of H C S three came. That's only difference. All things are same. Propane. Pro, propene is there not propane propene always when you are when you are uh, uh, studying pro, uh, this thing alkene eh, then you should be careful in pronunciation because uh, generally alkene alkene people will tell and say you want to tell alkene from the mouth it will come uh, alkene you want to tell alkene but from mouth it will come alkene by habit and you should be careful while uh, Writing time you will not do mistake. While te while telling time you will do mistake. Hence be careful. Then here is a propene, not propane. Propene. Then propene plus now chlorine is there. Cl Cl bond. Again same way Cl Cl bond will break. One Cl will be negative, other will be positive, and same thing will happen. And now it will form one two dichloropropene. Adjacent to carbon Cl Cl will come. CS three, CS Cl again, CS two Cl. Okay, CS three pro it is now it became one two dichloropropene single bond. You got single bond propene. Then one two carbon number one and two chlorine atom is there. That's why one comma two dash dichloropropene. This I have, this I have told you. Okay. Now next. Uh, next reaction is addition of addition of hydrogen halide. Addition of hydro uh, hydrogen halide like HCl, HBr, HI. Directly it will it will uh, react and it will attach. Very simple. See pi bond is there carbon carbon pi bond and HCl is coming. HCl is coming or HBr, HI. Then. What I told you previous just now same way because HCl is there. Now what will happen? HCl. Then when bond will break, then Cl will take the electron. HCl bond. Cl minus H plus. Now then see Cl minus. Then Cl minus will function as a electrophile. Electrophile. It will take the electron. Then then now it will create. One carbon it will get create positive, other ca carbon it will get negative. Then oppositely, oppositely it will go. Hydrogen is H plus. Hydrogen is H plus, hence it will go to the that carbon where electron is there. There it will go, and Cl will go. Cl minus will go there where electron is not there. That carbon and bond will form. A bond will break. Double bond will become single bond. And nearest carbon, nearest carbon, one carbon H will add other carbon Cl will add. And Cl is negative. And so Cl is negative. Other is positive. Correct. Then like that way that who wants electron, this bond will break. That electron will be taken by the atom which wants electron. Keep in mind. Uh, then H plus here is functioning as a H plus is functioning as a electrophile. That will take the electron. Correct. That H plus that will bond will break. See uh, that double bond, pi bond will break, and that electron will be taken by both electron will be taken by H because it has no electron. H plus. One electron was there. Chlorine is taken. That's why both electron will be taken by H, and that carbon, never carbon has no electron, positive. Then this Cl will go and attach there. This this is the case actually. Addition reaction of HBr, uh, just for example, I am talking about addition reaction of HBr to symmetrical alkenes. Symmetrical means similar. Similar groups attached to double bond. Huh. 
दिस रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस बाय इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक एडिशन मैकेनिज्म ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू सेम वे सी एस टू सी एस टू सी एस टू डबल बाउंड इज देयर एंड प्लस एच बी आर देन सेम थिंग विल हैपन इट विल फॉर्म दैट सी एस थ्री वन कार्बन विल टेक हाइड्रोजन एंड दोज विल टेक नाउ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट कार्बन इज टेकिंग हाइड्रोजन से दैट विल कम सी एस थ्री एंड अदर कार्बन विल टेक ब्रोमीन एंड इट विल फॉर्म सी एस थ्री सी एस टू बी आर इथाइल ब्रोमाइड इट विल फॉर्म इथाइल ब्रोमाइड करेक्ट वन कार्बन हैज टेकन एच अदर कार्बन हैज टेकन ब्रोमाइड एडेड वन हाइड्रोजन एडेड टू द फर्स्ट कार्बन एंड सेकेंड कार्बन ब्रोमीन एडेड ऑन सेकेंड कार्बन देन इट फॉर्म इथाइल ब्रोमाइड इट फॉर्म दिस इट फॉर्म दिस सी एस थ्री सी एस टू बी आर इथाइल ब्रोमाइड नाउ एनदर रिएक्शन इज अगेन सेम वे ओनली चेन इज लॉन्ग ओनली चेन इज रॉन्ग लॉन्ग मीन्स नाउ ब्यूटीन ब्यूटीन दैट इज द सेम थिंग सी एस टू सी एस टू कार्बन वॉज देयर डबल बॉन्ड बट फ्रॉम इच कार्बन फ्रॉम इच कार्बन वन एंड विथ वन हाइड्रोजन गॉन फ्रॉम इच कार्बन एंड वन वन इथाइल वन मिथाइल मिथ केम ऑन इच कार्बन वन वन मिथाइल देन इट बिकेम ब्यूट दिस इथिलीन बिकेम ब्यूटन टू बिकेम फोर देन दैट मिथाइल इज नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी थिंग्स वाट इज गोइंग ऑन टू डू दैट डबल बॉन्ड ओनली देयर ओनली सेम वे रिएक्शन विल टेक प्लेस विथ एच वी आर वन दैट इज अक मीन्स इन कंटिन्यूएसन यू विल कॉन्ट देन दिस सी एच सी एस डबल बॉन्ड दैट विल बी कॉन्टेड एज ए सेकेंड एंड थर्ड फर्स्ट बिकॉज मिथाइल ग्रुप इज द फर्स्ट सेकेंड इज सी एच अगेन थर्ड इज सी एच अगेन फोर्थ इज सी एस थ्री देन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड इट विल बी एफेक्टेड देयर वन एच विल अटैच एंड नेक्स्ट जस्ट एडजस्टेंट अदर कार्बन बी आर विल अटैच हेन्स इट विल फॉर्म सेम वे वाट आई टोल यू रिएक्शन बिफोर दैट इज दट विल फॉर्म सी एस बोथ साइड सी एस दिल एज इट इज देन दैट वन कार्बन एच विल एड अदर कार्बन एडजस्टेंट बी आर विल एड हेन्स इट विल फॉर्म सी एस थ्री सी एस थ्री एज इट इज देयर ओनली इन द मिडिल टू कार्बन वन हाइड्रोजन एडेड एंड एंड थर्ड कार्बन मीन्स सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ओनली गोइंग टू बी चेंज देन सेकेंड कार्बन एच एडेड थर्ड कार्बन बी आर एडेड हेन्स इट फॉर्म प्रोफाइल ब्यूटाइल ब्रोमाइड फोर कार्बन सा देयर फोर कार्बन सा देयर देन प्रोफाइल प्रोफाइल ब्रोमाइड देन नाउ अगेन सम रिएक्शन आर देयर केमिकल केमिकल रिएक्शन आर देयर मेनी केमिकल रिएक्शन आर नाउ रिमेनिंग देन टूडे इट विल नॉट फिनिश ओके टूडे इट विल नॉट फिनिश नेक्स्ट क्लास आई थिंक इट मे फिनिश ओके देन टूडे आई एम स्टॉपिंग ओनली हेयर अगेन नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल कंटिन्यू थैंक यू